想怎么不见了，我真的舍不得，你的心是灰色的，我还记得，是你当初教我的，不用那么苦涩，轻轻一眨眼就不见了，放下心中沉重的包袱。有了希望，才会有幸福。抬起头，别忧愁，朋友就在你左右。时间会把所有烦忧冲走。向前走，别回头，记得我就在你身后。Not alone. Don't worry. I want to be your one. The so-called good friends are just put in your heart. I remember it was you who taught me. 轻轻一眨眼就不见了，放下心中沉重的包袱，有了希望才会有幸福。抬起头，别忧愁，朋友就在你左右，时间会把所有烦忧冲走，向前走。记得我就在你身后。Don't you know that you are not alone? <音樂>放下心中沉重的包袱。有了希望，才会有幸福。抬起头，别忧愁，朋友就在你左右。时间会把所有烦忧冲走。向前走，别回头，记得我就在你身后。Thank you so much. That was not alone. And hello, guys. You're tuning in right now. My name is Koei, and、uh, what you heard was a song that I wrote、uh, for my good friend. And also, I wrote that during COVID times when you know we were all cooped up alone at home. But I just wanted to write something that was positive and something that could uplift spirits and to remind everyone that you're not alone, even though you might be cooped up. But Just you know, we just reach out、uh, your hand, and a friend would be nearby. You know, online or otherwise. So、um, I'm really happy to be here tonight, and I'm going to be sharing more of my original songs with you guys. This is a beautiful stage and a really massive production. So thank you, everyone who's、um, behind the scenes. And、um, this next song is actually something that I released、uh, very recently.、Um, it Actually, life has taken over、um, in a form of three boys. So I'm a mom to three boys. They're aged six, three, and one. And、um, I was really, you know, I'm thinking about work-life balance and all that. But、um, recently, you know, put my heart to it and wrote this song, and was very, also very happy to have shot this music video in Hong Kong. We've had、um, beautiful footages of not just the cityscape. But also、uh, the nature part of Hong Kong. So do go check it out. And uh, this one, um, it's about um, your. Um, 
it's about how you are in the eyes of your lover. So, 就就像是呃、um, 在情人眼里出西施一样，就是在你爱你的人的眼里的你自己是怎么样的样子。所以这首歌叫做《我的模样》。你总是能看到我的好，就算我不值得被拥抱，我早已忘了该怎么微笑。你眼神就是解药，我不用再寻找，就是喜欢你眼中我的模样。我的心不再流浪，找到靠岸。你让我变得勇敢，不怕风，不怕浪。有你给我力量，就是喜欢你眼中。暂停，冻结你眼神那片坚定，拥抱未来不在乎曾经。我们不是侥幸，就让时间证明，就是喜欢你眼中我的模样，我的心。谢谢，带来这首歌曲叫做《我的模样》，希望你们会喜欢。The beautiful take away. Hello, hi, hi, Joanna. Oh my goodness, doesn't she look absolutely beautiful tonight, you guys? Oh, thank you. My goodness,、you、and those、too. two songs, amazing. Do you like that? Do you absolutely. Like it? Yeah. <laughs> and of course, the story—it's something that's so heartfelt, so touching.、Mm. And I can't wait to hear a little bit more about your artistry. But sure, first, sure. A big hello to everybody at Homegrown tonight. Hi, hi everyone. <laughs> My name is Joanna Francois. Tonight, of course, like I said, I have the beautiful Miss Takeaway with、mm-hmm. me, and、uh, I know the fans. They're behind the screens. They are very excited to give you all the love as well. So please like and share this live stream. Homegrown is just something amazing for you to catch every single night. But like I said, let's get to those questions. All right, so let's kick things off. Okay. Celebrating you tonight,、mm-hmm. you won the. Young Local Artist of the Year at the 25th Compass Awards. Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What was that like for you? You know, you, you picked up this award. It's a recognition of all your art. How was that? Wow. Okay. So first of all,、um, this award was given to me last year,、okay. and、um, I think I just I had just given birth to my baby in June. So I think he was like a couple months. He was my third boy, actually. So I feel like it really encouraged me because、um, as a mom of three. Um, I felt that 
you know, I prioritize my family and the needs of my children. Yeah, but I also didn't want to, because a lot of people ask me, are you still singing? You know, are you still writing songs? And I am, you know, but slower, like at a slower pace. I feel like um, when that family life kind of takes over, I just kind of slow down a bit more on my work side. But I mean, I am a singer, right? Yes. Like it's not just a job. Yep. It's just who I am. So really I held on to that and I think my 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 management team, my company was like, are you going to start writing songs <laughs> soon? You know, we were kind of like waiting. Uh -huh. So, you know, we finally made it happen. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we just, we wrote the song that I just sang called oh, Water Moya. Oh, nice. And yeah, so, you know, um, everyone was really excited. You know, we, we planned this big shoot in Hong Kong yeah, for the music mentioned. video. Right. Yeah, so that to me was um, a milestone, mm -hmm. you know. It was kind of like a comeback mm. for me me to like say hey you know I'm hey guys I'm back yeah. and so I've been lucky because um, kind of I was when I was kind of taking a break um, from writing creatively mm -hmm. um, I also got a chance to like collaborate uh, not just with my husband uh, Alfred but also with Gentle Bones on oh, Duet oh nice yeah so I felt like you know that kept me going yeah, and creatively yeah right? and then like people also heard different sides of me different mm -hmm. sounds different songs so yeah. I, I'm seeing this growth in you, uh, I guess. Yeah, yeah. there's this like a little bit of a new uh, element of Koei that we've not like seen before. I feel like um, life has different seasons, yeah. and for me, it was just a season of uh, a, a different change, mm. and um, I learned to embrace it, mm -hmm. and then just kind of like grow through it and come out of it yeah. with a different perspective on uh, what I want to do with my singing career. Right. Yeah. So I love that also you mentioned, you know, you were telling us about your three boys, the sweeties. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing they are a huge inspiration for your art as well. They are. Would you like In to fact, say anything to them, by the way? I don't know if they're watching. It's, oh. it's near their bedtime. <laughs> but if it's they are, time. hi, hello, Momo, <laughs> Pien Pien, hi, oh, Choo Choo. So cute. <laughs> yeah, they're nicknames. Mm. Ayo, so cute. But you were going to say something about um, how much they inspire you. Is that it? Yeah, because um, I actually, so... For my first boy, we wrote him a song. Oh. Yeah. So his name is Momo. Uh-huh. So uh, the song is called Momo Ai Jenny. Oh, my. Yeah. So loving you. But Momo also means silently in Mandarin. Ooh. So it's kind of like loving you silently, mm -hmm. like supporting mm -hmm. you always. Wow. So we wrote that for our first boy. Mm -hmm. And then we got too busy. <laughs> so we don't have. <laughs> so that's actually a duet uh, oh, that me and my husband sang. Right. So, yeah. That is so sweet. Love it, yeah. Well, speaking of all your music, you know, mm. you have seven full-length albums out. You've got one EP as well. I think it's a remarkable achievement for any artist. So let us know a little bit more about this creative process that you have. Take us through it. What is it like working on a new album for you? Um, for me, I feel it's a very arduous process. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the climb. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like it really takes um, a whole team t to like come together and to conceptualize and to work on it. So when I did my most, um, the most recent full-length album, it was all Mandarin songs. I think I wrote all the songs and maybe half the lyrics. Okay. Um, that took me a long time. And I feel that is the struggle of every uh, singer-songwriter. Like you really need that alone time to kind of like crunch through like the work and the arrangement. But at the end of it, you know, you, you have something that you're really proud of. Yeah, the so, reward. Basically. So I feel nowadays um, we have been releasing singles more. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't know if I will focus on like a full length album in the near future, but it's definitely um, it's, it's definitely possible. something I look forward to. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Well, we get the privilege of hearing your music tonight. Five original Kelly yeah. tracks. So let's get it going, shall sure, we? Sure. Sure. Two <laughs> more of your tracks tonight, please. Take it away, Koei. Thank you, Joanna. So um, this next one, uh, what is it called? Uh, oh yeah, this one is actually a Zhong Guofeng kind of song. So I actually wrote it for my mom. <laughs> But it, the lyrics are about um, love, and it's very poetic. But because my mom really loves this kind of Zhong Guofeng, and also on this track, um, I played the Erhu. So uh, it's something that um, my dad plays, and I learned it when I was young. So kind of like a dedication to my parents. So this song is called Liu Lian.
这首歌叫做《留恋》，希望你们喜欢。Ah,、uh, and up next, um, I'm gonna be sharing another original that I wrote, and this one, I feel, when I listen to songs, I like to listen to songs on repeat, right? Because it's a vibe, and I want to be like in it. So when I wrote this one, ah,、uh, it was about missing someone in the dead of the night, and、um, yeah, it's something that I would listen to on repeat. So it's about missing someone, and the song is called "Why Don't You Let Go."
That was why don't you let go? It's take away everybody. Killing it with every song. My goodness. Thank you, thank you. That was like a really chill, like it was. deep in the night kind of song. Mm. <laughs> I thought it had like such a wonderful vibes to it as well. Very jazzy. Very sweet. Yeah, thank you. Right. Okay, so we've got a whole lot of love on the stream. Welcome back to Homegrown, everybody. Tonight it is Takeaway with me, and uh, those two tracks you just heard. Well, stick around because we've still got more music to come. We have one more right? song left. Yeah, we mm -hmm. have one more song. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> but turning to the fans now to feel the love. Let's read that comment section. This first person is Ariane, who says, "What a voice." Thank you, thank you. Not a lie. This one, Christo, been loving Koei's music since her time with In In. In In. Yeah. Oh. She's my good friend, Aww. and uh, we used to sing together. She mm -hmm. plays the keyboard as well. Oh, sweet. So we kind of release stuff as a duo as well. Oh, so that's this, nice. Thank you, Christo. This this is really since way back. What a throwback. Yeah. We've got this next comment here, final one for, for now. This is Ryan. She says, wow, she sounds amazing. I know, I'm here like Thank right you. here in the studio and I get to hear it like live as well. Please. Amazing. Hey, you're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. So we've got more questions from the fans mm. here tonight. Um, and we have definitely established, you know, you're one of the more experienced musicians in this industry. Let us know if you have any words of wisdom for any budding artists out there. You know, maybe they having a hard time. Lah. They want to hear words of wisdom. The positivity. Yeah. No, I think there are, <laughs> there are really so many platforms these days. Oh, like, true. Um, I would want to say back in the day, like <laughs> when I started, but like literally when I started was when YouTube just started. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Whoa. So at that point, I also just, you know, sang covers, mm -hmm. put them out and then wherever like I could put out music, I would do that. Okay. So I think right now there's just an explosion of platforms that like we were just chatting about, like this X, oh, yes. like threads mm -hmm. and everything. So I really think there are so many ways for everyone to reach out. It can be overwhelming, but, um, I feel like if you just keep at it, you know, and people would just, you know, just get to hear you. Yeah. So that's what I did. Like, in fact, when I started out, um, I was actually a backing vocalist for a uh, pop artist. Okay. So people like David Tao, Wang Li Hong, Ami, JJ Lin, like I used to sing with them at the concerts um, wow. as a backing vocalist. That's what, that was how I started my career. Okay. And I did that for six years until I said, okay, I think I'm ready to, you know, be in the forefront, mm -hmm. like instead of Forward. being part of the band. Yeah. So um, that was that was what I did. I try to give myself a shot, wow. and you know, ever since like I've been releasing music, mm -hmm. all kinds of music, like English, Mandarin, and yeah. So it's been a it's been a journey, <laughs> you know. I've kind of ridden through like the ups and downs, right. but uh, I think it's all worth it. So I th I see a lot of great uh, musicians and singers these days. Mm -hmm. I heard you sing too. I do. Wait. Yeah. I do. I heard <laughs> from the grapevine. Oh my God. The grapevine is a, yeah. it's grape. So what are you doing about your music? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're in the industry. You're like getting to know people. I think that's great. I think it's wild as well. I, I don't know what I'll ever do with my music, but honestly hearing you, I think it's really inspiring because keep what I learned, what I learned, okay, now I'm the one receiving the wisdom, right? <laughs> <laughs> is keep at it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Put yourself out there. I think it's great that you're doing this, like really just <laughs> also being part of <laughs> the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. I'm sure at some point I'll get to hear you sing. That is, oh, yeah, girl, the nicest <laughs> thing. Oh my goodness. No, 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 I look forward, yeah. I'm excited. Oh, mm. goodness. But okay, back to Koei because <laughs> okay. today is Koei's night. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to your future. Mm. What do you think is there for you in terms of music? What can we look forward to? Wow, I actually just released um, a song that's really important to me, mm -hmm. but um, we didn't get the chance to sing it here today. So this song is called All You Had To Do. Okay. And um, we released it uh, in conjunction with a mental health campaign. And uh, it's actually a song that I wrote uh, more than 15 years ago. Wow, from because, the vault. Yeah, because I had a friend who took his own life due to mental health issues. And um, literally, I wrote, I wrote it and it was really important to me, but I just couldn't, never found a suitable opportunity or time to release the song. And then, um, you know, we had this chance, like we were talking about work and then there was this campaign and it was a great fit and they loved it. And they, yeah, they took the whole song as it, as it is. 
which no I was changes from no changes. Fifteen years. Yeah, so I felt that was something that was very uh, meaningful for me. So this song is actually already on my TikTok, and uh, you can go check it out. And yeah, so I mean, you were just asking me about like mm -hmm. you know future plans and all. So I just wanted to share about yes, the song that I just wrote. No, nice. I, would, I mean, I just released. Yeah. Right? Okay, yeah. so we could find you on TikTok. Make sure yeah. to find Koei, please, on TikTok, on social media, on her Spotify as well. Mm. All of this music that you've heard tonight, you can absolutely listen to it. Just stream it yes. uh, as you can. So this next track is called So In Love. Maybe mm -hmm. give us a little bit of the story behind it. Oh, when I wrote this, um, this was a, I imagined what it would be like if um, I got proposed to. Oh. So it's about. Wait, huh? You like, weren't proposed to. I was, I was. <laughs> but like, if I were to be proposed to, what it would be, you know, like perfect day, uh -huh. like music streaming. <laughs> like, that was my, how I imagined it. Oh. So I wrote a song about that moment. Okay. And so my then boyfriend, now husband, he used mm -hmm. this song on my, I mean, on his the proposal. La, oh, that's so sweet. So he learned he how hint. to play it on the guitar. <laughs> he doesn't play the guitar. Okay. But he learned to play and he sang it. He sang my own song. Oh, he, he he did a, a reverse Uno. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sounds cute. I mean, that's the story of the song. That's okay. I can't wait to hear it. Please. This is Kanwe's last song <laughs> with us tonight. It's unfortunate we've only got five tracks with her, but like I said, please head on down and stream her music if you can. Take it away. This is So in Love. Thank you. So in love, so in love, so in love. So So in love, we are so in love. Chatting to the girls, we get up. 就是在今天，阳光和蓝天，一瞬间，烦恼好遥远，像电影上演。忽然间发现，音乐响起。照亮整个房间，你手中的惊喜让我忘了呼吸，问题已经改变，迫不及待想大雨里。So in love, we are so in love， 你在最完美这一刻感动了我，感觉 so in love， can't control。So in love, so in love, so in love, so in love.
Goodness, I wow! I'm so in love, lah. <laughs> Can I say that a lot, right? Did you feel it? Did you feel like I felt you it? You're being proposed. To. I'm about to get down. Right, no, I'm just kidding. About. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was your final track here with yes. us, but the fans still have a love to give you. Let's take a look at the comments. We've got this one from Ryan's. Maybe you can help me out with this one. Uh, it says Hao Ting. Uh huh. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one is from Irene. Uh, Angel like voice. Thank you, thank you. And this one from JJ. Great songs. Thank yeah. you, JJ. Thank you, Irene, <laughs> Ryan. Well, we you. do have one last question for you. Okay. And that is, it's Music and Drama Company's 50th birthday. Oh. Happy birthday, you guys. Happy birthday, Music and Drama <laughs> Company. <laughs> so, we're going to be marking it with a series of activities to celebrate our national servicemen for their contributions to mm -hmm. the nation. Would you like to shout out to those serving our nation? Wow, I'd like to say... Thank you guys so much. Um, we really appreciate your contribution and I really hope you enjoyed the songs today. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Koe, for joining us here tonight on Homegrown. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> well, coming up next Friday, it's going to be a whole new artist coming up, Shiga Shay. So make sure to tune in to Homegrown where you get to listen out to your favorite local artist right here from 9 p.m. It's Joanna Francois wishing you good night. Goodbye, Homegrown. Bye. Bye.